Hello, I'm Mary and thank you so much for coming. I pray that as you listen to this video today, your life will not remain the same again. Welcome to your era of miracles. The end of all obstacles. In the name of Jesus. Again, the prophetic word for the month is, I'm redeemed a wonder to my world. Can we say that one more time? And we've been looking at unlocking the supernatural, which implies you carry the supernatural, you now need to learn how to unlock it. Unlocking the supernatural. I believe we had a good time, a great time last Sunday in looking at this. And over the weekend, we had some wonderful time in our week, spiritual week of emphasis. I will advise and admonish that to get those materials and connect. It's for your good. It's for your good. If you be wise, you'll be wise unto yourself. But if you scorn, only you will be it. Proverbs 9, verse 12. So everything we hear from God is to our advantage and for our blessings. To our advantage and for our blessings. Please note that the supernatural is ordained the hallmark of the end time church. It shall come to pass in the last days. I will pour my spirit upon all flesh, and I will show signs in heaven and on earth in the last days. Pillars and smoke of fire, blood, I will show wonders on the earth. Joel 2. 28 to 29, and Acts 2, 17 to 19. So signs and wonders are the hallmarks of the end time church. For anyone not to be left behind, we need to train up to gain command and continue to improve on our skills. What skill? What skill? To retain command. Hebrews chapter 5 and, and verse 13. Now let's go to verse 12. Verse 12, please, to start. It said, For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again, which be the principles of the oracles of God, and have become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. And verse 14. But strong may belong to them who by reason of use. So we don't develop capacity by potentials, but by potential utilization. You use to grow. You use. You put it to work to grow. <laughs> so every word from the Lord is a seed. The parable is this, the seed is the word of God. But it will abide alone until it is sown. <laughs> it's tiny, but when it's sown, then it grows. Mark 4, 30 to 32, the mustard seed. Now, people collect seeds and hang it on their shelf, put it in their bags, Zip it in their notes. <laughs> the 
The seed won't grow in your bag. The seed won't grow on your shelf. It only grow as you sow it. <laughs> as you put it to work. Just imagine that you have put to work 10% of what you have had. Where your life will be today. <laughs> but you have so much seed. <laughs> Unsown seed. And waiting for harvest. By grace, I develop capacity to believe that whatever God wants to do, he has a budget for it. And it's not in your pocket in case you run away. Mm. <laughs> I've never asked God, how do you pay for this project in my life? Mm. I found that. The silver is mine and the gold is mine. To be the later house, says the Lord. <laughs> Developing capacity is by reason of use. Putting to work what he says. I was saying for the KC Price of Blessed Memory off in Kaduna Airport. And the Lord said to me, get back home and start that building now. I said, sir, I wouldn't be able to follow you to Lagos. I just heard from the Lord now. I should get back home. I had my back. Two weeks we finished for the KC Price Hall. Two weeks. Two weeks we finished for the KC Price Hall. Not grass church, oh, building. How many have seen it before? You better go and see it. <laughs> it's still standing. So it's standing. We dedicated it two day, two weeks exact. I said, see after me, two weeks. They said two weeks. I, mean, I told them to, there was no time. I said, I put four people on the four edges. Really supernatural, faith tabernacle. Is it a myth or a reality? Are you not sitting there inside? Built one year without a budget. Wake up, my friend. You need to train up. You, I'm saying you need to train up. Yes, Training is not by collecting seed, it's by sowing the seed. Yes, sir. It now in your hands. The potentials are within. It's now to unlock it. By building capacity through access to the rod and engagement of the rod. Then you grow. Very true, there are many false prophets in the world. The Bible says so. But there are also very many true prophets sent by God in the world today. No prophet has ever risen in Israel like unto Moses. God raised him up. Genesis 18, 15, I will raise a prophet among you, among your brethren. Praise God. And retreated again in Acts 3, 22. So God has prophets. The presence of the counterfeit is a proof of the genuine. There can't be counterfeit currency without a genuine one. It's a genuine one they try to copy so they can deceive people. Can I hear your amen? And how much access a prophet has to God's agenda is what validates his prophetic office. For the Lord will do nothing, but he unveils his secret to his servants, the prophet. 
things are going to go wrong for the world according to Bible prophecy. You better take a position in the supernatural. The earth will burn like an oven. All the proud say, forget about it. They will be chaff. The day that comes, we burn them off, leaving them with neither root nor branch. But unto you Amen. that fear my name, shall the son of righteousness arise with healings in his wings. Then shall they be able to know between those who are serving God and those who are not serving him. That's the way it works. This thing is real. A time is coming, you hold money, you, have, you won't find food to buy. It happened before. But you still find the people that won't know it. That's why the earlier you take a strong position in the universe, in, in, the, in the supernatural, the better for you. There is no single human hand behind this ministry. Not even my hand. That's how old the hand of God can be. I have not tried to see prophecy fulfilled in my life that I organize. But when you hold the rod and you engage the rod, you are in command. Keep engaging the road. You keep changing level of authority. That's the way it works. My prayer is that everyone here will take responsibility. Amen. Our parents can send us to school. Can they go to class for us? Can they study for exam for us? So they can't change class for us. So I can't change your class. You have to take responsibility. Lectures won't change our class. It is our understanding of the lecture and the correct application of it that does. So it's time to take responsibility. One of the things I will never forget that God told me, my son, you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. Ah. For the three years, you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your life. That changed the trajectory of my life. You don't have no one to blame. He said, not even the devil. Therefore, it's your turn <laughs> to come awake and take responsibility for the changes you desire, among which the need to train up in the supernatural so you can be up and standing in the evil day. He said, be strong in the Lord and the power of his mind. You may be to withstand in the evil day and have not done all to stand. Ephesians 6, 10. So, so there is an evil day that God has given us an idea of how to handle it. Build up. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the world. The world. And in the power of his might. And then you'll be able to be in command when those things show up. It's your turn. Amen. There are false teachers 
speaking lies and hypocrisy. First Timothy 4, 1 and 2. Titus 2, 3. Second Peter 2, 1. But there are true teachers who feed us with knowledge and understanding that leads our enlargement and establishment. Jeremiah chapter 3, 15 and 16. Ephesians 4, 8 to 11, ministry gifts among which are teachers. Praise God. Every truth confirmed into signs and wonders is a validation of heaven. It was confirming the world with signs following. So I have not had to withdraw any of my writings till date. They are not written out of the quest to write. They are inspired by the Holy Ghost and with proofs. I have done some little work on success. Am I now a failure? You don't know how many people have made success out of what I wrote. I've written a few volumes on prosperity. Am I now a pauper? I know many of you are sitting there now, you are beneficiaries of it. That's how false it is. I believe in time. I don't believe in time. It's a cup of tea I had from God. And we prosper not by manipulation. Pure prosperity. Unfabricated prosperity. <laughs> Open accountable prosperity. I'm an avowed titan taught by the Holy Ghost. I have the heavens open over my land. I've never had to beg or borrow before ministry began. Before we had church, we had no connection to church. Over to you. This church came on down. No poor heaven through Titan. No stress. No strain. You know something? Any truth you have not proved, you never have proofs in your life. He said, prove me now. They are not. They are not there to prove. No, they are not there to prove. My people are trying to go to orphanages, you know, because they are doing my bad day. I say, we do it every month. Not bad day to bad day. Every month, year in, year out. By grace. And by understanding of the covenant of prosperity. That's not ceremonial. No ceremonial. My family has been given scholarships in 92. 92. 1992, that's the meaning. It was in 1992. <laughs> Since 1992. I knew where we were, but I knew how to change level. My prayer is that you wake up to take responsibility. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Now, there are wonders. They manipulate and stage manage miracles. 
But there are undeniable wonders. Titus 1.9 talks about lying wonders. And then Acts chapter 3 verse 16 that a notable miracle has been wrought, we cannot deny it. So there are true wonders and that's why there are lying wonders to counterfeit the true wonders. Now, covenant is a wonder, not just because of the grace that's on it, that's working and lifting it, but the grace that built it. March 6, construction began. October 21, we dedicated the place. Seven months. That is barren land. You ask me what was your budget, ask God. God, what was your budget for it? Did you delay in supplying it? Old church, I got the word from the Lord in February. We started building the L shape in March. Now, April 16, children moved to the L shape structure. Four floors. No crack. You better relax. The supernatural is real. It's relevant to living. It's real. No skill on that can match it. Please train up. Train up. Train up. Train up. A time is here where the strength of men will fail them. Where the skill of men will not sell. Where only those who are in touch with God will have meaning. There are lying wonders, but there are undeniable signs and wonders everywhere. Brain cancer, communion, what? And then devilish plantings on the inside, which is causing cancer on the head, came out. There is a lie. Okay, what is the truth? Somebody said, could they eat? Pain in the mouth. Unbearable pain in the head. Now the devils came out. By this mystery, he says, it's not true. Only fools doubt proof. Whether Jesus he is or not, ask me. He delivered me from tuberculosis, life. And that 55 years ago, Mm, it's not true. Okay, that's okay. Somebody's story is changing. Yeah. Miracles are no accidents. They are the deliberate acts of God provoked by the faith of man. Who touched me? For virtue is going to rob me. The woman said in her heart, if I may but touch his aim of his government, I shall be made whole. And by that faith, because faith is of the heart, it's only manifested in action. Faith is essentially of the heart. With the heart, man believes. With the heart, man believes. With the heart. With the heart, man believes. 
But show me your faith without your action, and I'll show you my faith by my actions. So our faith is made manifest by our actions. No, I believe God, and he moved. By faith, no, I've been one of God, moved. Faith always moves the believer the direction of what they claim to believe. What to believe moves you. I saw Matthew 33, it moved me into selfless pursuit of God and his purpose. And that's not, that's long before I was called to ministry. It's, not, it's about ministry. It's about God's agenda for our fulfillment in life. Seek ye first the kingdom of God's righteousness and all these things that others are dying to get shall be added to you. It's not ministry. I got that five years before I was called to ministry. It's not part of ministry. Thou shalt serve. God shall bless. Hmm? He will take something away from you, the midst of you. You shall not be barren or cast your young in the land. The number of your days will fulfill. So it's all about discoveries in the world that puts in command of the supernatural. I had no single doubt about the future when I saw it. This one thing to seek, to gain command of all other things. I've not had the first regret on it. In all labor there's profit, but the talk of the lips tends only to penury. God has no space for explanations and excuses. You either obey or disobey. It is only the word we put to work that will be turned to testimonies in our lives. But spiritual authority is only entrusted to matured believers. To spiritually developed believers. For an heir, when he's a child, is not different from a servant. Though he be Lord of all things, but is under governance and tutors until the time appointed of the Father. Under tutors, he has to be trained. Until the time appointed of the Father. It trains to qualify to be conferred with authority. It trains to be conferred. In Luke chapter 1, numbers 80, talking about John, and the child grew and worked strong in spirit and was in the deserts until the time of his showing to Israel. He grew. He worked strong in spirit until he was confirmed with authority to turn Israel back to God. He grew and worked strong in spirit. And you know what? The whole of Israel went out to Jordan to be baptized of John. Authority responded to growth and maturity so it will not be abused. Praise God. So it's time to grow if you don't want to continue to grow. It's time to grow. It's time to grow. It's time to grow. Jesus trained the twelve. After all that he said, he expanded the parables to them. He expanded the parables to them. Mark 4, 32 to 35. They were adequately trained in readiness to manifest the power of God. 
So it's time to subscribe to this training through personal responsibility, discipline. It's time. You will never come across anyone that operates and sustains his work in the supernatural without being a student of the world. You never come across one. All the ones that are brought, that I'm brought around, I saw them as lifelong students of the world. Lifelong students of the world. Till the ones who have gone to heaven went. In the precious name of Jesus, no one among us shall be a victim in these tough times. Please know that spiritual maturity is not about age, but about depth in spiritual things. It's not about age. Job 32, and verse 7 to 8. I said, they should speak, and multitude of years should teach wisdom. But I, I miss it. But as a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty gives them understanding. So it's not a function of age, but a function of one's spiritual disposition to spiritual things. And from a child, thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to. which makes you wise unto salvation. That's in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 3.15. So it's about one spiritual disposition to the demand for spiritual growth. It is about one spiritual disposition to the demand for spiritual growth. Not this one 30 minutes lecture in church and then you walk away for one week and you're just battling like wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. By his great grace, I read daily and I write daily. There are things in my note that I cannot be taught now unless I be stoned. Just be disposed. God is ever available. Be disposed to learn from him is ever available. So every child of God is a candidate for spiritual growth, for development of spiritual capacity. Every child of God unto us is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. When I talk about this position, listen to this. I heard it's good for a young man that he bears his yoke and his youth. I was 16 and I went to pray. Jesus, whatever yoke I will bear when I'm old, let me bear it now. Come and say disposition. Disposition. Dispos you are disposed. You are not reading for fun. You are not reading for entertainment. I went under a little tree and I knelt and I prayed. I was 16. Be disposed. You have been redeemed as a priest and a king. Sure. So I would tell myself, will the king go out like this? No, go and change. Be disposed. Be disposed to it. Will the king shout on the street? No. David. I'm talking about disposition. Be disposed to it. People are reading the Bible as newspapers. Be disposed of spiritual growth.
Why is this church not growing? I wasn't uh, trying to look for new strategies from Japan. I went to God who grows the church. Be disposed. And he landed four instructions, and we're still working in it till tomorrow. Be disposed. He showed me explosive church when we were 21. We were 21. And he showed me how to get there. You better wake up. The lack of spiritual disposition behind our frustrations. When anything happens, we're looking for who will help us instead of going to God. Looking for who will help us. There are young people here, except they have somebody who can help them get a job. They can't believe it. It's true, sir. It's true. My uncle is a useless man. My cousin is a bad boy. You, child of God. Can I say this and it, it will help you? You have no one to blame wherever your life ends. When you point the finger at someone, you are pointing three at yourself. Is 25% of my problem. I'm 75% of my problem. If I can solve my own problem, I'll be a success. Yes, sir. If no one troubles you and you didn't take responsibility, you still be a failure. If no one troubles you at all, if the whole world helps you and you won't help yourself, you still be a failure. Can I tell you spiritual capacity? A senior um, minister said to me, now you're going to full-time ministry, how much saving have you got? I said, nothing. And if I have anything, I will finish it. Because he said, carry no pause, no scripts. And greet no man on the way. <laughs> my God, I got it real. It was in my hand. My hand has handled it. Yet, I have not gone yet, oh. He said, okay, oh. Is it not okay now? Okay. Spiritual disposition. Sir, I've never sat in anybody's house for what I may get. I go to place to bless them. Amen. Now, from onset, when your church income was 18,000 per annum, Paranormal. There is Nepal bill inside it. Paranormal. There's water bill inside it. Paranormal. And the man didn't beg. Paranormal. I didn't take one day from church money. Relax. You better wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Spiritual disposition will help you to gain command of life affairs. Somebody still is changing. Amen. And us declare grace for commitment to spiritual growth Amen. upon each one today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We must understand that the word is the principal resource for building spiritual capacity, the Word of God. That is it. This is it. This is it. And every believer that must be in command of the supernatural will be committed to building spiritual capacity. We go, go into the world and we go into the book of Philips who help us to understand the world. Do you understand what you read? He said, no, how can I? Except someone should guide me. So there are Philips who help to enhance our understanding of the world. So we get those materials of people who have proofs of what they are saying. They have the proofs of what they are saying. You can touch faith in this place. You can touch the validity of the word in this place. You can touch the genuineness of the prophetic office in this place. And there are many others. 
So you locate material that will help your understanding of the raw book by those who have proved it. It enhances your understanding. When you see those who have proved what you are reading, it boosts your understanding of it. Can I hear your amen? Why am I going this far? I want to not only to touch what I touch, but to touch greater things than I touch. I want to take responsibility the same way he helped me to take responsibility. <laughs> By self-discipline and self-engagement. Thank you, Jesus. Every circumstance on which you have been under, you are taking over today. Yeah. No more under circumstances. Yeah. You are riding high above them. Yeah. We have the example of Paul. He said, no one taught me this. I was before Jesus. And by his revelation, I'm writing this. And I lie not. Galatians 1, 11 to 18. He said, I saw none of the apostles except Peter that I saw after three years and I saw him again after 15 years. Self-commitment to spiritual development was his story. Thank you, Jesus. The cost of assessing the truth is discipline, diligence, and sacrifice. Come by without money, without price. You don't need money for this. Lord, there must be a way out of here. Show me the way, Jesus. You take your Bible. You look for relevant resources or resources around you, books, videos, to locate the road you need to gain command of the situation. Thank you, Jesus. And the result, when Paul came out, the ghosts have come down to us in the likeness of men. They stoned him and dragged him out of town for dead. He came back by himself. That demon said, Jesus, we know Paul, we know who are you. Clear off. We know those who have authority over us. We know those who don't have. It's time for your change of level. It's time for your change of level. Yeah. It's time for your change of level. Yeah. I said, devils know those who have authority over them and they know those who don't have. Who are you? We know those who are over us. You are not one of them. You don't even come out. Me, come out. I'll deal with you now. <laughs> Somebody was casting out a devil in those days and then the possessed person just stood up and gave me a slap. Wow! You think people like you should be talking to us? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Devils know those who have told you about them and those who don't have. Build capacity, sir. Build capacity. Build capacity. Yet there are those in the body of Christ that such demons can't wait for the arrival. They can't wait. There are those who just say, in Jesus' name, and the devil is out. There are those who need to say it four times, in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, before they hear. Because of their rank. <laughs> <laughs> you better change rank. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. By developing spiritual capacity. Yes, you better change rank. You better change rank. You have been under circumstances long enough. Now, come over it. <laughs> you are not redeemed to be under. You are redeemed to be above only. Come off under circumstances. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That which said, when I ask him, what, what, when people like us are coming, when we say, a higher power on the way, we clear off on our own. Take over, take over, take over, take over. Some terrible man is coming. 
<laughs> take over. And that's you from henceforth. Yeah. Every devil will be clearing the way when you're on the way. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Yeah. Amen. Today is our enough is enough service. You came along with your enough is enough list. Put that underneath your seat right now. Amen. Every item on your list shall return as testimonies. Every item on your list shall return as testimonies. First, let us recognize that every affliction of long continuance is a manifestation of the cross of the law. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 59. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful in the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. So it's listed among the causes of the law. Any plague, any affliction of long continuance is a curse. But Christ has redeemed us from the cause of the law. We made a cause for us. But it is written, curse is every man that hung upon the tree. Therefore, that curse has no legal hold on your life. It has no legal hold on my life. That curse was broken when Jesus rose from the dead. That's when he took away all the handwriting against us that were against us and nailed them to his cross. They never rose with him. So the cross of the law has lost its grip on your life. Yeah. That means you are not permitted to suffer any plague of long continuance. Yeah. So that long-standing case is set to today. Yeah. How shall I cause whom God has no cause? So when the cause is lifted, it can't, be, it can't survive. It can't be there anymore. And how shall I defy whom the Lord has not defied? Therefore, suffering beyond a day, listen, a while or a moment, is contrary to our rights in redemption. 2 Corinthians 6 2. I have heard thee in the time appointed, the day of salvation of called thee. Behold, now is the appointed time. And behold, what? Today is the day of salvation. If anyone comes your way to ask for help and it's your power to give it today, don't ask him to come back tomorrow. Proverbs 3, 27. Don't ask him to come back tomorrow. If you are ready today, God say, I'm ready. Today is the clear, your day of salvation. Yeah. So every issue on your list clears off today. Yeah. <laughs> First Peter 5, beginning from 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil goes about like a running lion, thinking we may devour, whom resists his steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions were accomplished in your brethren that were in the world. They have overcome it. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto eternal, his eternal glory, 
Christ Jesus. After you have suffered a while, not beyond a while, a while, a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and say to you. So we are not permitted to suffer beyond a while. Now, you want to understand what that means? If you look at Paul at Miletus, where he was beaten by a venomous viper, they waited for a long while. That long one was not a day. They were not standing for a day. And yet, it's a long while for him to fall down and die. He didn't die. So, a while is less than a day. Because a long while is less than a day. <laughs> Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus, everything that torments any end of your life ends here today. Ends here today. Amen. It ends here today. Amen. Second Corinthians chapter four and verse seventeen. For our light affliction, which is what, which is bought, bought for a moment. A moment. Work it for us. A far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. <laughs> so for all those issues of your life, you are returning with that exceeding far above weight of glory. Yeah. For every shame that you suffer, God is turning it to double glory. Finally, in Psalm 30 and verse 5. For his anger endured but for a moment, in his favor is light. We pay may endure for a night. But joy, what? Whatever has gone beyond a night must end here now. In any area of your life, must end here now. Amen. To take delivery, have I enough? Is enough? Heritage in Christ, one thing. Enter into a covenant to serve God as your new way of life. And it will give you rest around about. Just mm, prove me now if I will not do so. That's what God is saying. And they entered into a covenant to seek the Lord God of their Father with all their heart and with the whole of their desire. And it was found of them. Second Chronicles 15, verse 12, and then verse 15. And the Lord gave them rest around about. That is enough is enough to all issues of your life and my life. Enough. enough. What it is. Enough is enough. He gave them, make it a lifestyle, not we are doing operation. Let it be your lifestyle operation. Constantly thanking God and the advancement of his kingdom. Constantly proving that to do in your actions. Don't be that careless believer. I know something will happen. Nothing will happen if you do what he says. If you obey and serve him, they shall spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasures. No issues. If you look at verse 19 of Second Chronicles, he said, and there was no more war. <laughs> War-free zone of life. 
until Asa turned his back on that covenant, there was no war. There was no war. Enough is enough. There was no war. War ended. Vexation ended. Adversity ended. There was no war. You got it today. Today God is saying to all the forces of hell, how to destroy any area of our lives, it is enough. Yeah. Stay now thy hand. Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 16. And when the angel stretched forth his hand upon Jerusalem to destroy, the Lord repented him of the evil and said to the angel that destroyed the people, it is enough. Stay now thy hand. Has God changed? Today, the same God is saying to the, your issues, it is enough. Yeah. He's saying to all the devils in hell, stay on your hand. Stay yeah. on your hand. Yeah. Your business comes back alive. Yeah. Your spiritual life is rejuvenated. Yeah. Your family life is become peaceful. Yeah. Your marital destiny is secure. Your miracle jobs deliver. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of prayer. So it's time to engage the violence of faith, violence of faith, based on your new covenant repositioning. Amen. Enough is enough. I'm out to serve God with all my heart and with the whole of my desire. Enough is enough. My heart is set and God knows. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Thank you, Jesus. We have the table of the Lord here. And I want you to know, please, hear this first time you're going to hear it. The communion is a life infusing mystery. What do I say? Like they give infusion in the hospital, the communion is a life infusing mystery. I am that bread of life. John 6, 48. <laughs> the covenant is all about life. And I'll show you before we pray. The bread of life. Verse 21, the living bread. Verse 52, life available to the entire world. It doesn't matter where you live. That life is accessible. That life is available. Infuses life in us. Verse 53, then Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, except ye eat my flesh, the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink his blood, ye have no life in you. Life. Life. But not just life, 54. A new order of life. We receive Christ, we have eternal life. So it steers that life in us for manifestation. Life, cancer, get out. You are not part of here. Kidney, be back to order. Liver, take shape. A eternal life, whatever does not belong to eternal realm of life, he goes in to terminate it. He goes in to swallow it up. Can I hear your amen? Yeah. No wonder he said the kingdom of God is within you. He brings you into the kingdom realm.
next, verse 56, is to ask Christ to come alive in us. Is it enough? We show that is there. He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. It tears the Christ in us into manifestation. That is, 57, he increases us to live like Christ. As the living Father has sent me, and I live like the Father, so he that eats me, he shall live by me or live like me. John 14, 9, you have seen me, you have seen my Father. So when we take his flesh and eat his blood, drink his blood, we live like him. Is there sickness in him? Oppression in him? Nightmares? Kidney failure? Liver crisis? Cancer? <laughs> HIV AIDS? Sickle cell anemia? And finally, he said, your fathers did eat manna in the wilderness and are dead. Hey, he that eat this bread shall live forever. What is he saying? This is superior to the manna that your fathers took in the wilderness. Mm. Do you know how strong that manna was? 40 years, no sickness. Even their legs that they were used to trek, did not swear. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 4. 40 years, sir, there was no feeble person among their tribes. Psalm 105. Verse 37. No weakling among them. No vegetable like persons among them. Yet, this is superior to it. Therefore, as we take this communion today, expect new level of energy. Yeah. Accept new order of health. Yeah. And Paul came on and said, Look, that which I've received the Lord is what I'm showing to you. It wasn't there when you served in the communion, but it came to expand it. From verse 23, chapter 11 of 1 Corinthians, and verse 26 said, you do show, as long as you take this, you do show the lost death till he comes. Its effect is ongoing till Jesus comes. 1 Corinthians 11, 26. You do show. You do show. He said, this is ordained to terminate weakness, sickness, and untimely death. Verse 30. <laughs> weakness must be terminated here today. Yeah. Sickness must clear the way today. Yeah. And everyone appointed to death escapes today. Yeah. You had the terminal of brain cancer this morning. We had the one of full-blown bone marrow cancer that took the communion all the way in India where we serve it here. They were online. And on Tuesday, they couldn't find bone marrow cancer again. Gone. And they returned home. One year after, he testified. One year after. So what is your headache doing? What's your migraine doing? What's your fever doing? As you partake of this communion today, Every hand of the devil on your life and your head will clear the way. Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, there are people here this morning that need to connect by accepting Jesus as their Lord and Savior. So you can become a partaker of the root and the fatness of the olive. The supernatural is the exclusive preserve of the children of God. The wind blows at least and you hear the sound, you can't tell where it's coming from or where it's going. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Jesus told Nicodemus, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. I said to you, you must be born again. So being born again is being born of the Spirit. Jesus also never served the communion to the public. He served to his disciples. Therefore, you are here this morning. You want to be a partaker of God's grace available in this great service and with an eternal testimony 
in your hand. Stand to your feet. Jesus, save my soul this morning. Stand to your feet. Jesus, forgive my sins this morning. Stand to your feet. Jesus, forgive my sins this morning. Stand to your feet. Somebody is there. You want to dedicate your life to Christ? Stand to your feet also. I want to dedicate my life to Jesus. Stand to your feet. I'm tired of playing religion. Stand to your feet. Many more are standing on wherever you are. Get up on your feet. I'm praying for you right there. I'm praying for you right there where you are standing. Stand to your feet. Now, for everyone standing for the force to give their life to Christ and those who want to dedicate their life to Christ, you're on your feet where you are. Please bow your heads for prayers. Bow your heads for prayers. Lift up your right hand to heaven. And pray this simple prayer of faith after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say it loud. Lord Jesus, save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. I believe that you died for me. On the third day, you rose again to justify me. Today, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and make me a new creature. Thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for restoring me back to the faith. By your grace, I shall serve you all the days of my life. Amen. Keep your hands up. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. I cover each of you with a pretty prayer with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered against all satanic assaults. And receive grace to live the overcomer's life. Sin shall no more have dominion over you. You have escaped and forever. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations. Amen. Please complete those slips they gave to you and submit them to those church officials around with you. We'd like to be part of your life, part of your joy, help us of your faith. Give us that privilege. We'll also let you know which location is nearest to where you live for our Believers Foundation class that holds every Saturday, 7.30 to 9.30. You go only once. And you'll be glad you did because it will give you a solid foundation in your newfound faith. Shall we all rise? How many are set for the mystery of life transfusion from the communion table today? Amen. Before then, pick out your enough is enough list. I didn't send myself or call myself a prophet. He did. And he has not stopped to confirm his word. It gives me access to his plan. At least for this commission, we know it. We are standing in this tabernacle today. It came to light 17 years after God spoke to it, spoke about it. I therefore decree, lift up those papers, that every item on your list be turned to instant testimonies. Yeah. All that believe this proclamation, your testimonies begin now. Yeah. Your testimonies of enough is enough starts now. Yeah. Your testimonies of turn around begins now. Yeah. With man, that may be impossible, not with God. For with God, what? All things. All things. And if thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believe it. You receive a prophet as a prophet, you receive a prophet's reward. Believe the Lord your God shall be established. Believe also his prophets, and so shall ye prosper. I therefore invoke the prophetic unction of my life 
on every issue listed. They are turned to dramatic testimony. In the name of Jesus, this new week is declared a week of testimony. All that believe we sing their new song. You will sing your song of victory and triumph. Wave it to heaven and give God thanks. Wave it to heaven and give God thanks. The battle is over. 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 Begin to declare it, the battle is over. The battle is over. The war is won. The battle is over. The war is won. The battle is over. The war is won. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. We're going to be singing that prophetic song as we take the communion, this life infusion mystery. Now that my battle is over, I am more than a conqueror. Now watch, every dying organ in your body will come back to life. Every challenge organ will begin to perform perfectly. Every siege of the wicked will be over forever. You are assessing today your new realm of strength, new realm of health, and today you secure your longevity. A good old age. And so shall it be. Now that my battle is over, I'd like you to be singing. It's prophetic. I am more than a conqueror. I have won. The battle is over. The war is won. I have my testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Now, we declare the table set today as the flesh and the blood of Jesus. And wherever this table is set across the nations of the world, it is declared the flesh and the blood of Jesus. So, partake of it, life is infused. Superior to the one they had in the wilderness. No sickness, no disease, no feebleness, no death. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We receive it by faith in Jesus' name. Now get seated and take your turn as you may be directed. After partaking of the communion, just join, stand and sing that song. Is your song? That song is your song. Hallelujah. You dance to the altar for your communion session at your various levels. Amen. Now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over. I am more than a god. Now that my battle is over. My battle is over. My battle is over. I am more. Now that my battle is over. In the name of Jesus. Now that my battle is over. I am more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over. Jesus, now that my battle is over, I am more than a conqueror. Hey, now that my battle is over, now that my battle is over, now that my battle is over, I am more than a conqueror. 
in the name of Jesus. Now that my battle is over, now that my battle is over, I am more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over, now that my battle is over, in the name of Jesus, I am more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, in the name of Jesus, now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over, in the name of Jesus. Now that my battle is over, I am more than a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, in the name of Jesus. Now that my battle is over. Now that my battle is over, now that my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over. I am more than the call. Now my battle is over, my battle is over. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. I am on a record. Now that my battle is over, battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over. Yes, sir. I am on a record. Now that my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over. In the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. I am on a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over. In the name of Jesus, I am on a conqueror. Now that my battle is over, battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over. Yes, sir. Now that my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over, in the name of Jesus, I am on the corner. Now that my battle is over, my battle is over, my battle is over, yes sir. In the name of Jesus, I am on the conqueror. Now that my battle is over, no more shame, no more pain. Now that my battle is over, I am on the conqueror. Now that my battle is over, no more stagnation. It is settled. Yeah. You will testify. Yeah. And it shall be sustained. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Just before we share in the goodness, please take note of this. Capacity is developed by use. 
please make that covenant a reality. Making serving God your new lifestyle. Authority, power follows those who serve him. This sign shall follow. They don't sit with people. They follow people who are on the go for Jesus. Imagine that 50% of church members thank God and thank the advancement of his kingdom and put the same into action. Abawa. A more Picatinian, you have had enough. And it's not a gift, it's a choice. Choose ye this day, whom you shall serve. It's not a gift, it's a choice. I was going after so before I was baptized in the Holy Ghost. It's a choice. Serving Jesus is a choice. Don't wait for things to happen. Work at making them happen. Let this week be a demonstration of your new covenant with God. Yes, the covenant to serve God with all your heart and with the whole of your desire. Yes, your desire. Yes, your desires. Yes, Desiring his advancement. Yes, the of his kingdom. As your new lifestyle. That has lived with me since 76. It hasn't left me forever. It hasn't left me forever. That I, I'm a kingdom strategist. I keep thinking the way forward. And then keep making my brain sharper by the day. I keep thinking kingdom thoughts, kingdom advancement thoughts, drive strategies, day and night, no games, no gimmicks. We didn't have opportunity for honeymoon after our marriage. This service won't let me. There was no church. No. Emopitinia in Krankutanoa. I've not regretted once. Before. The things that others are dying to get are freely added to me without demanding for it. I always said to God, why won't you be patient for someone to ask before you answer? He said, there's a company of people, they call me and we answer. Why they're here speaking, I will perform. May you join that company today. Yeah. How many will pray kingdom advancement prayer this week? Amen. 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 How many will reach out to someone with passion? This week. Amen. No, don't say by his grace, by your choice. What is by his grace? By your choice. The grace of God has appeared to all men. So it's not by his grace, by your choice. By your choice. Will you pray by his grace? You pray by your choice. Do you eat by his grace? <laughs> Come on now, give the Lord a big hand of praise. Don't preach another message. <laughs> I just said by choice, whereby it's grace. Preach by grace. <laughs> I'll reach out to soul this week. By my choice. By my choice. I will pray at my prayer this week. By my choice. Next Sunday, explosion. Explosion here next Sunday. Amen. Now, can I tell you this? My new I mean, my birthday gift that I want from you is a soul. Amen. Bring a soul. Amen. Don't give me a card. Uh, I don't need a card because I don't eat it. <laughs> don't buy me a card. Amen. Don't do cake. I don't eat cake. <laughs> Amen. Please go. Thank you so much for listening to the end. I pray that whatever that you have listened to today, you are not going just to keep it, but you are going to do what God has told you through this message and please kindly if you're new here or you are not so i mean you have not subscribed kindly just click on the red button below the video and subscribe to this my channel and also you can share this video with someone else thank you so much and see you in my next video bye